Welcome to an overview of Team Studio Build Manager. Build Manager automates the process of promoting changes being made to a database from development to test, as well as from test to production. Steps can be automated simply by clicking the button Promote Database. Some of the steps that are typically completed manually when promoting code changes through different environments can be set within the tool. For example, we can configure and enable database properties, set and configure ACLs, create a copy of the database, as well as compile Lotus Script. We can also configure and set agents, refresh the design, and sign the database. Two steps that are critical when promoting changes to production are signing and setting the agent server. Those are two of the major reasons why code can fail in production. We strongly recommend you complete those steps. This process is designed to be configured based on your environment. When you're promoting or setting the promotion path, you can also enable or disable specific steps. Build Manager also lets us view available versions of a database through a template registry. This is basically a repository of different versions of those databases that are stored based on the environment they're currently in. For example, Build Manager will let us look at a view of databases that are ready for testing, but we can also view databases that are in production or may have failed QA. This feature provides rollback capability, so if there's an issue with the database in production, we can roll back to the last working template that's in test. With Build Manager, we can also copy a standard path. These standard paths can be stored within this database. We can access these from the Resources section along the left-hand side of the tool. We can have different types of paths set up based on whether we're releasing a new version of a database or just making an odd fix. We can also enforce security with Build Manager by attaching an ID when promoting the database. The password for this ID file can be encrypted. This allows only a developer to promote to the next environment without having access to test or production. Along with accessing stored resources, Build Manager also provides us an option within each step. For example, when looking at the promotion path step, we can go into edit mode and perform a promotion as someone else. Here, we can attach an ID or access a stored ID and then complete the promotion of that database to the next environment. On the concept of signing, we can also go in and access or load from a stored ID when signing agents or script libraries. Build Manager also lets us sign elements by title, sign all notes, or sign notes that aren't signed by the selected ID. Once the promotion is complete, we can view an audit trail of all promotions that have been completed. To meet audit requirements, we can present this audit trail and log database showing all the steps that were completed from the beginning to the end of the promotion. If you have any questions, please email us at contactus at teamstudio.com or learn more through our website.